permission? Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Today, I'm introducing important legislation to ensure that all perpetrators of child abuse are held accountable. It closes a federal loophole that wrongly denies justice for some survivors, like Penny Som from Washington State. Last month, I heard from Penny directly about the horrific abuses she faced at the hands of her father. He was convicted, sentenced to prison, and ordered to pay $5 million in damages. But because he's a military retiree, federal law has shielded him from paying a cent of the restitution that he owes. It's unacceptable. Congress already passed a law in 1994 holding federal retirees accountable for abusing a child. Now it's our responsibility to apply the same standard to all perpetrators. I'm honored to be working with my colleague from Washington State, Congresswoman Herrera Butler, to close this heartbreaking loophole. In these challenging times, this is exactly the kind of bipartisan solution we can all work together on. Thank you and I yield back.